Hey, hey guys. So we just wanted to jump on here to give you three magic tips on how to make me disappear. Yes. <laughs> What's up guys? So, all right, we're being a little silly. We've had a good day so far cleaning. So anyways, um, hey, if you're struggling with working out, we've got a few tips that I think will help you guys out. So number one is, which one do we want to start? Have fun. Right? You've got, what, 50 different programs, over 50 different programs, which equates to about, like, how many thousands of workouts? Yeah. yeah. Like, there's stuff in there that is designed to obviously push you, but there's stuff in there designed to be fun and um, get your kids involved, and there's maternity stuff, and there's things that, like, are designed to have fun. It's not all about killing your workouts and lifting and banging and clanging weights. And yeah, I think one of the things is you've got to enjoy it. So, right. you know, find something that, you know, if you're struggling that you're going to enjoy a little bit more because that means you just stick with it longer. Exactly. And that's the whole point of this is mm -hmm. to find something you enjoy. It's not to beat yourself up every single day so you can get the best results ever. It's to have fun, get results. And like, how can you beat that? Yes. Right. So have fun. If you're not having fun, Find one of the programs that you can have fun and that you will stick with. Or um, we talked with somebody earlier and we talked about how it's like we, we have our go-to program. I call you, it my soulmate soul, yes. program. So if you have your soulmate program, meaning when life's kicking your butt, you're not enjoying things, life just is not fun, you'll still get your workout in because it's your soulmate program and you can do it no matter what. So like that's how I feel about Body Beast. Like if you're having the worst day ever and it doesn't matter and you're doing a different program, but um, you know that at least if you did some Body Beast, you'd be able to at least get exactly. through it. So whatever program that is for you. So yes. tip number two is don't compare yourself to others. Remember, we're all individuals. So we're working as a team, but we all individually have our own goals, our own um uh, dude, I just no. blanked that. Help me out. No. Own goals, own... I had something else. Whatever. I don't know what it is. So our own goals, and we don't know what motivates us. Like, we don't... You're right. You don't know what motivates another person. Um, somebody else might have a goal to lose 20 pounds, where your goal is to just maintain your weight. So if you're comparing yourself to maybe somebody else who's lost 10 pounds in their first week, and you've lost one pound in, in your first week... You're just setting yourself up for failure. You don't know their goals. You don't know where they've been. You don't know whether they've already been working out or not working out. You don't know if they followed the meal plan or didn't follow the meal plan. Like all of these things, right? Yes. Wow, dude, you're no, gonna leave I, me no, with that. No, I guess what comes to mind is like <laughs> some people may want to lose weight. Some people may want to like gain muscle. You know what I mean? Yeah, so exactly. it's totally different for for every one of us. You know, we're all on different journey. So truly don't compare yourself because you know, everyone's journey is their own. Exactly. And that leads us to tip number three, if you're struggling with working out. So be patient and consistent consistency in life. And this isn't just about working out, but consistency with anything that you want to accomplish in life. Um, whether it be through, through working out or a job or a business or anything. It all comes down to our habits and being consistent. So our habits are either leading us towards our goals or away from them. And if they're leading us towards them and if we're consistent, guess what? We're eventually going to reach those goals. But if they're leading us away from them and we're being consistent with that as well, we're just eventually just going to fall completely off, right? So we got to make sure that we are consistent and patient. It's not going to happen in one day. It's not going to happen in three months. If you have a huge goal of losing 100 pounds, you be be realistic and be patient. It's not going to happen in your first month or your second month. It takes time, right? Yeah, it's those small daily habits. Every that, single day. That are going to lead you to those big, big, huge goals. So, with that being said, we hope these tips helped you guys. Um, and feel free, drop drop some tips that might help somebody else that, that um, may read it or whatever. So, anything else, to, any final words to add? No, hope you guys have an amazing day. See you guys. Bye. Bye.